If you're building an app or any kind of product really, it can be expensive to pay to get new customers running ads. Quite expensive. One great alternative is to try and go viral. And in other words, if you have some, some number of existing customers, you can try and get them to refer you new customers. So they refer new customers and hopefully their referred customers refer you even more customers. And so it sort of spans out like this where we go from one to two to four. All right, and this is kind of like fantasy land, like nothing, nothing works that well. If you had an app that had this sort of um, viral coefficient, which I'll explain what that means in a second, then you would be just blowing past Facebook and Instagram quite easily. Um, so let me explain to you what, what a viral coefficient even is. Let's say you had 100, 100 users. All right, let me draw a line here to divide this. You start out with 100 users, all right? And let's say that those 100 users, they share your app on average 15 times. All right, so from that, we're gonna times that by the number of shares that they do, which is 15, all right? And that'll give us 1,500. Okay, so this was our initial customers. That's the number of shares they each do on average. And so this is the total number of shares performed. And let's say that 10% of those shares actually convert a new customer. So we'll take 1,500 and we'll times it by 0.1, that's the 10%, and then that'll give us 150. All right, so our initial batch of 100 customers, they gave us 150 new customers. All right, and the way we find what the viral coefficient is, is we take the, the new number divided by the original number. So the viral coefficient, I'll just call it C, that's equal to 150 divided by 100, and so C is equal to 1.5. Is that still in the frame? It looks like it is, great. All right, so our viral coefficient is 1.5. In other words, each customer on average will bring us 1.5 new customers. And if you can achieve something like that, that's amazing. Like, you're gonna be right up there with Facebook and Instagram and all those huge social sharing sites. So basically you want C to be greater than one. That is like the promised land, that's what you're aiming for. So whatever that means in in terms of adding features to your app or website, you know, adding more share buttons, um, putting the share buttons earlier in the user experience, whatever it is, or if you're if you're devious like Dropbox, you'll bribe people with more storage space if they share. Um, very clever, <coughs> actually. So when you're building apps and websites, try and get your viral coefficient um, above one, and then you know, you're good to go. Each new 100 customers that you get, hopefully they'll give you another 150 customers. All right, and notice how we're not including the original 100 um, over here in this 150. These 150 are completely new people from the original. Otherwise, this thing would really explode and you would get tons of new users. But still, if you can get C um, anywhere above one, you're going to be in the good zone. That's a lot of the success stories I hear about apps is they're just kind of teetering along and then they have some breakthrough where, you know, that user experience becomes good enough to where people are willing to share the app on average and uh, like a large enough number of times to get this number above one. So guys, that's just a little tidbit for you for today. If you want to make an app go viral, try and increase its viral coefficient. And you know you can do that by um, increasing the number of share buttons in your app. First of all, making a good app in the first place, right? And you know not a lot of people can actually do this, so hopefully you're one of the few that actually figures this out. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Jameson Saunders. Um, let me know what you thought of this format of video, just use, using the whiteboard. Um, sometimes I do like uh, keynote presentations, sometimes I just talk to the camera. In this case, I'm using the whiteboard. Seemed useful for this video. Guys, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Remember to subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next video.